All right, brew day. Let's see. Which one are we going to do? It's going to be Austin Homebrew Supply, Texas Blonde Ale. And I did a few modifications. I've got uh, for when this is ferment or for when this is uh, mashing. I made a jacket out of some uh, reflecting. Put on here. Keep that a little hotter. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, I'm gonna mash in the grains and I get this gnarly spoon for like two dollars at Walmart. Cool, huh? I put some gypsum in this to uh, adjust the pH down. I'll check it again after I got the grain in there. Rom, 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 Alright, I was watching videos the other day. I think it was Warrior and Hand. Don't quote me on that. Uh, the Line and Kugel Summer Sandy. Uh, it's peace beer with lemonade. Good shit. I really like this. I like the uh, twisted tea, too. So, I mean, this is kind of a natural with the lemonade. So, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this, and we'll wait an hour. I guess I should have put a timer on. Oh, well. So, now let's get this off here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and first word hop these. It's one ounce of Brewer's Gold. And we've got boils, so we're going to time an hour. Okay, I got this out in the garage. I got it all done. Uh, threw pitch the yeast in there. And I put a blow-off tube in it because it's like pretty much up to here. So I thought, well, if it does anything, I'd just soon it blow off in that. This is what this looks like. It's pretty clear already. So I always get good break down the bottom of that. So anyway, that's it. I'm done for the day. All right, my Texas Blonde Ale is finally fermenting. This took the German Ale Kolsch yeast from White Labs, and this has got to be the laggiest yeast I have ever seen. Um, it, this just started fermenting sometime today because it wasn't fermenting this morning, and it's been almost 48 hours. So if you get a hold of you know, that Kolsch yeast from... Y Labs, don't be surprised if the uh, lag time on that is like really long.